had a customer ask me to refinish some doors for her cabinets and some drawers. I've done, I've finished the uh, drawers. I've already given them to her, but I got 14 doors of various sizes. This is one of the cabinet doors that she gave me. Um, I think that somebody in her family had built these years ago. And this is also like some barn wood they put on the edges. Um, on the back of it, as you can see, the backing is sort of the, a barn wood also. But she wanted me to put beadboard. Uh, it had a strip just similar to these strips here. Matter of fact, this is one of them. The strip that ran down the middle, just like that right there. Um, and it was all this type of wood on both sides with this piece sticking it out in the middle. So she had me pull those off, uh, replace it with beadboard and some trim on each one of the doors. So what I did, they're various sizes, of course. Uh, this is the beadboard I used, a little thin sheet of beadboard got from Lowe's. Um, that's a piece of scrap. But I, um, for the, here's another size of one of the other cabinet doors. What I did for the trim, at first I started to use, thought about using quarter round, but it was going to stick out a little bit farther than the, um, the edges already. So it's, I made my own trim. Um, what I did was I cut some uh, one by sixes that were actually decking boards. I cut the ends. I already had the rounded edge on them. And this is what I used for the trim, part of a decking board. Uh, one by six and um cut up the size cut 45 degree angles and then i um just matched them up with all the doors it took a long time to do that it was just 14 doors but uh when i got when i was cutting these and running the edges as i was as i was cutting the board it would be square so what i did was i took them to my belt sander and just round them over on the sander and made made the round edges just like that right there um you can see the round part i made all the other edges rounded over and I just uh, framed them together. So Brad nailed everything, glued it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go patch all the holes, all the Brad nail holes, patch the cracks. And um, I'm gonna give it a good sanding, take all the hardware off, uh, give it a good sanding. She want me to sand these rough boards down some uh, right here so I could paint them. So she could paint them, she wants to paint them. So she's gonna want me to sort of sand this. So I'm gonna sand it with a 60 grit sandpaper. And just leave it at that. I'm not going to completely sand it all the way flat. She wants to leave a little bit of roughness in there. But 